Video games sometimes get a bad rap for promoting laziness, but health experts now say they can actually help treat and prevent illness. Doctors were today shown how the technology can be used to rehabilitate older patients at a national health care convention in Brisbane. It may look like a bit of virtual fun, but video games are now making a difference in reality. So I had a hip, hip replacement uh, 12 months ago and uh, that sort of technology would have been very useful in my rehabilitation. Health researchers are now taking video game technology far beyond the realm of teenagers to help prevent and treat injuries. If you put a game controller into people's hands or get them to stand in front of a, a video game system that can track their movement, then they'll keep doing their exercises. But it's meant playing around with games so they're suitable for older users. We can put into the game music that older people like. Now, one old guy that uh, works with me really likes hip-hop music. So I've got to try and make a version of the game that's not going to break his neck. Dr Smith has found fast-stepping games that have been adapted for more popular versions can help the one in three Australians aged over 65 who fall in their home each year. And there are other kinds of applications of this sort of technology on the horizon. Researchers say it may also be used to treat obesity, cerebral palsy and stroke victims. Australia's been... Uh coming to the forefront of this area because of the way in which we're doing the rollout of health reform uh, and using technology in that process. Doctors are hoping the National Broadband Network will help them turn more fun and games into high-tech health solutions. Lauren Day, ABC News.